Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2, the Reapers Do DLC. Back on here in the channel with the game's family with Count Glenn. With a little bit of a scare last episode, he almost died at the age of 24 from food poisoning. Um, he started off getting, you know, he started vomiting and then he got cramps and then he got himself a fever. And my Discord is going off. I'm so sorry. Good God, what are they talking about? Let me check this out really quickly. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. It's still going, damn it. It's fine. We'll be okay. But uh, he got a fever. He was vomiting. He had cramps. And he was getting food poisoning and for the little bit we didn't know because it was just all piling up i was like oh my god he's gonna die uh but then it all turned into food poisoning and it went away rather quickly so he's okay he's still living with us let's keep trucking on um i still don't know if you guys like this little thing but i'm gonna keep it on just so we can see what's going on around the world as we can see there's a little bit of wars going on oh good you got the troop levies higher that's all it's nice now, one thing I need to check is the crown laws. Now, the inheritance laws we don't care about. Crown authority. Powers of the nobility and the monarch. And oppression's balance. So we need to get it onto low crown authority so we could fight each other. But for right now, we're not going to do that. Maybe the king will make our dukedom title and gain us a little bit more land without having to try to fight a war to get it through. So we're gonna hope for that. What is this? My leech, I have collected tithe. Nice! You're a really small dude too, aren't you? Yeah, you're only a seven. Super cool. Let me do this real quick. I feel as though the music is just a little loud. So let's go, let's put it like, like, uh, like there-ish. Yeah, just like right there. That's decent. In other news around the world, France, Philip fighting against Heinrich the Fourth for a war. Who is attacking in this war? He is defending himself against the Kaiser in a du jour war over Zealand, which I believe. But are you Zealand? It's somewhere close, close by. Oh my gosh! Look at this, the French. Actually sieging territory. Holy lord. Wow, go them. I'm proud of them. Oh, I think it's this. Yeah, that's Zealand. Figured it out. It's the little islands. That's going to be a border scrimmage between them for possibly a long time. Uh, Croatia looks to be fighting itself a war. What are they fighting against? They're fighting against Venice. In the war for the coast of Split. And then they're also fighting against the Hungarians for the Great Pay Tribute. Hmm. So, that's happening. And then, you know, around the world, it's just nuts. So, we're not going to basically look into any of them because it's just, they're huge. Are they revolting here? No, they're not. Okay. They should probably, what the Shodukes should do is they should just invade. Over here, yep, everything looks to be mighty peachy. How does the Pope feel of me? He likes me for now. We want to keep that for about as much as possible. But for right now, what we're trying to do is gain children with my wife. We're both lustful, so I don't know why it's taken so long. Maybe it's because we're fucking paused. <laughs> hmm. Whoopsie. Yeah, and as I say that... Thanks, babe. For giving me a... Child. Hopefully it's a son. I really hope it is a son. Because if it is, uh, I get to, I don't have to worry about my people getting pissed off with me if I have a female ruler. Which they will do. King Garcia II of Galatia has declared the Galatian Holy War for Beja. Really? What is this? I have my eyes set on a title. But my spy master Gareth has advised me to forget about the title 
saying I would invoke too much wrath if I tried to claim it. My wife Enigna, however, is doing everything but telling me outright that I should pursue it. So, my wife is right. We are in love. At least she's in love with me. Am I in love with her? Yes. We are both lovers. So, I'm guessing, plus I'm a kind man. And I'm very lustful. So, I'm guessing I would choose this. So, let's do that. And we are now ambitious because of that. Hmm. That's exciting. Maybe getting all this diplomacy, the king might want to give me a spot on the, you know, the royal council. Having me be his, uh, what's it called? His chancellor. There it is. They did change the name since the last time I ever played this game. Oh, sorry if you could hear a teacup clanging around because I'm drinking my tea. So, Norway, still fighting its war over in Scotland, um, kind of mutual, they're sieging out territories it looks like, but it looks like the Scots are sieging out territories as well. What is this? We can recruit another court physician. Holy God! Okay, so something just happened, there's a revolt going on. Baldwin of the English Revolt has declared English civil war to lower crown authority for King William the Conqueror. What is this? There it is. I knew he would accept me to be his chancellor. So I'm going to accept that title since now my wife is pregnant. There's an opportunity that I have a child. So uh, it, this, because I am, I'm guessing, where am I going to be now? I'm at the court in Middlesex now. Only a county away, so it's not that far. But it's still going to decrease a little bit of my fertility because of the fact that I'm no longer home. And we have a daughter. We'll name her Grace. Grace Ga Games. Grace Games. That's going to be weird. But we do have a daughter. Hopefully, we'll soon have a son, wifey. Uh oh. She's getting what looks to be a cough and a fever. What is this? What is she getting? Perfect. So the king is loving us, but I need to make sure my wife isn't going to die right now. I would really hate that. She has the flu. I pray to God sickness and death awaits us all. Stop <laughs> pestering me. I'll hire a court physician to save her life. Hopefully. She has the flu, so hopefully she doesn't die. The flu was a lot worse back then than it is now. Hey? What is this? One of your scouts reporting a cunning eunuch who has taken up residence in a nearby tavern the eunuch spends his time drinking wine eating and sharing stories with the guests apparently he is very well schooled in the vast knowledge of medicinal medicinal i can uh, words mixtures and to offer a gold and food would definitely convince him to take up residence if the court is the physician sure hopefully he's gonna save my wife's life Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my wife, Countess Elignia. I have just been informed that the cause of her aches and fatigue is in case of the flu. I pray to God. Now, even though I'm a cynical man, I probably shouldn't have said that, but... After being skillfully treated by the court physician, Turston, my life... Is that Turston? That's a great name. My wife, Elignia, is feeling much better. Perhaps he is deserving of some praise. Of course we'll give him some money. He saved my wife's life. She still has the flu, but he saved my wife's life. The king, his troops had to retreat from a nearby battle too, it looks like. So if the king doesn't fix himself, it's not going to be good. Is she still okay? That didn't change. No, she still has the flu, but she's getting better. Ah, okay, she's fine now. Good God, that was scary. So there's a way easier chance for your people to die in this DLC, which I love. Because it's going to be really difficult to try to make a, uh, a prominent family if at all times your family could just die of a disease. Like in the first episode, we almost died from having food poisoning. But we were okay. We lived. So the king has more men. 
About a thousand more men than the uh, neighboring rebel army. I'm surprised he isn't charging them right now, but... Now, this isn't part of their... Yeah, this is a different revolt, which a 6,000-man revolt, I'm pretty sure, is going to stomp you. So, because I know those counties, you can't get that much. So we're ambitious now, we're proud, we're lustful, we're kind, which is always good. Hopefully now my wife will want to have a son after the flu. I don't know if she's going to want to do that. So it looks like the Holy Romans won their war against the French, but now it looks like the French are in a different war. They're now fighting against Genoa in a French war for the city of Nimes. I wouldn't attack the entirety of the French army just to do that, but if you win this fight, you might win the actual war. So I was going to say, I don't think that the, uh, the king has that much men. He has about 7,000 men if you were to retrain. Maybe he will. Try sorry. He probably trained up, and that was just one of them that got caught in the mix. So the king is besieging... But we're 56% in the hole with this. So hopefully... Yay, my wife is pregnant once more. Hopefully this time it's a son. A new bird has arrived in the muse. And a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Would we like to hunt more? Or would we like to read? We're cynical, man. So maybe we don't like to read as much. Because we think that maybe books came from God. I don't know. We're kind. We're ambitious. Maybe we were like really want to go out and try to hunt. Let's go and hunt. I think we would have rather chose to hunt in that than to go and read a book. The new bird was much more aggressive than the other ones I'm used to. It killed many rabbits but was unwilling to relinquish its catch. It even attacked me when I tried to pry one away. We'll say poetry is safer. I really don't think I want to be depressed. Poetry is much safer. So we're slowly but surely winning the revolt now. We were at 56%, now we're at 50. Hopefully we don't die. Hopefully the king can fight it out and win. Um, I don't know what this war is for. What is this war for? To lower the crown authority. Ah, we should have joined that. So actually, we kind of are hoping that the revolt wins. But since the king likes us so much, I mean, we don't like the king. We fucking hate the king. So maybe, maybe it's for the better that we hope that the king loses the war. We're probably, my character would probably be like, oh, I fucking want him to lose the dirty bastard. So he's the Duchy of Bedford, which is his ducal title. He has the Duchy of Normandy still, which he needs to give away. Which his son is Robert, right? Yeah, Robert, which is a fucking mean guy. I don't think he's going to last too much longer. But his second son, Richard, is not as bad. He's a great marshal. He'd probably be a really good leader. And then his third son is William, who's a homosexual, which probably isn't going to be that good. Thank God, this fucking... This guy's going to get somewhere in life if he continues to do the right thing. So we're smashing the army now, it looks like. If we continue to do that while they're routing away, we'll be able to destroy them. Really have no idea. God, us. Eleanor. Eleanor Games. I actually like that name. Let's use that name. That's the first time I've ever actually liked a name that the AI has brought up for me. Eleanor Games, I like that. Such a wonderful boutique. The complex blend of flavors spread over my, oh, banquet. I think that's what it is. Oh well. My tongue is spread into my belly. These monks certainly know how to make a fine wine. I must visit the monastery more often, which gives me 50% chance to gain one learning and 20% that I'll be a drunk. Or thanks, but no thanks. Would I be a drunk? I'm an ambitious man. I'm proud, lustful, kind, 
cynical? Yeah, we'd probably be like, fuck it. Let's drink. Doesn't look like it changed anything, though. So we're not a drunk, but we're definitely all right. Ooh, let's pause. Whoa, we're fighting a war against Heinrich. Attacking King William the Conqueror in the Holy Roman English Excommunication War. Is the king excommunicated? He is. For what? We gotta lift this excommunication. Do you think we'd be able to do it? Oh, we're only having a 21. We can't talk to him through here. Do we have to go to our king and try to lift the excommunication? I can resign from his council. Lifting the excommunication. Oh, I can't afford the 50 piety. Good God. We don't even have good enough piety in order to do anything. That kind of sucks. I guess, I guess it's fine, though. Because at the end of the day, it's not our issue that the king is... My God, the king loves me. We don't even need to do this anymore, but we're going to continue to. If he's more in the hundreds and he continues to make uh, the, du the ducal titles, he's going to give me it. I mean, just because he loves me. And soon enough, when he's done with this entire war, he's going to create his dukedom titles and everything will be hunky-dory. They're training up quite a force, though. For a second rounder, I'm surprised. If they can continue to build their forces. Hmm. King William the Conqueror has inherited the county of Maine from Count Robert. His son died. Oh, he died of an illness. See, this is what I'm saying. He died from a bad case of the flu. Literally, you can die from anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that actually is great because Richard is going to be king and he's a great marshal. Just like his dad. His dad was pretty good in, you know, the stewardship and the intrigue. Which, he ain't bad with the stewardship, but pretty shit in the intrigue. He's actually better than his dad at talking about things and being diplomatic, though, which is good. But he's going to be as skillful as his dad, so if he doesn't die, we might be alright. Robert didn't even have any kids. He was still pretty young. Yeah, he was 18. Richard is 17, so he needs to hop on and get a kid or two quick before he dies of an illness of some sort. He might die of an illness of some sort. We have no idea. How are you, wifey? You're wanting to be spy master, but you're giving me a kid, though, while you're away, so I'm not gonna hate on it. So, I wonder how the Holy Roman Empire... Are they only going to be attacking these provinces? Because if that's true, then it's gonna be alright. What is this? You can shut the gates. Is there a disease? Oh, camp fever. So I could shut the gates right now. Mm. Camp fever. Consumption. Ew. Is there any others? Is there any other big ones? Smallpox is down here. Oh, wow. This is cool. I love it. So this is something new. Okay, so we got camp fever spreading like wildfire. We could shut our gates. Which, it would cut my diplomacy by five. And it cancels my current job. Oh, it's because I'm over there. I could actually end up getting that. I'm going to close the gates and go back home. And we can open those as soon as Camp Fever leaves. So we're gonna just going to try to see if this doesn't spread anymore. If it just goes away. Hopefully it doesn't spread anymore. But you can see that it's starting to spread like wildfire through here. But hopefully Kent won't get it because of the fact that we've closed our gate. I don't know if it's just we'll close the like the walls of our own personal castle, but it's spreading to other countries really bad. Life in seclusion isn't so bad. After finishing a hearty breakfast, you belch continuedly and remark upon your verse. I, s I wish I could freaking read. Oh well. In enduring Ken's leaders were well stopped. However, as soon as the words leave your lips, you notice the suddenly panicked look on your servant's face. My count, you just ate the very last pickled boar head. And almost all of your other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, your servants continuously drone on, but you are too august to listen. No more pickled boar heads. 
crap, so we don't have that much food left. Oh my god, and this is still spreading really bad. Your liege, King William the Conqueror, has decided to seclude himself and his court from the outside world in order to avoid the ongoing epidemic. The gates of Wymister have been shut and any landing councillors have been sent back to their homes. He's only doing what's necessary. Who can blame him or such a coward as he cares not for the realm? I'm not going to call the king a coward because I'm actually doing the same fucking thing. So I'm going to say, you know, he's just doing the right thing because we're doing the same thing. Sorry if you don't like this view of things, but I'm- uh oh. Oh no, it's spreaded. You have searched Kent from top to bottom and you have come to realize that there are no more pickled boar heads. Not only that, but all the other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Your servants really should have mentioned that. Don't even say, I'll convince the people they don't need food. Tough times for us all. I'll convince them that they don't need food to live. Because thank God for my diplomacy. A sudden clatter sends you running to check to your food supplies. You arrive to this room to see the turbage emerge, wiping his mouth. How could you do this, Tristan? Let him rot in the dungeon. You outstayed your welcome, Tristan. Looks like meat's back on the menu. Oh my god, Tristan dies. But our food goes up by one? <laughs> yeah, so it goes up by- so we'll eat him. Marshal plus three general opinion minus ten. Personal combat skill though. Do I need more Marshal that more? I don't think- I'm a kind man, I would not do that. How could you do this, Tess? I'm just gonna say, how could you do this? With the spoons by his dwindling... Attention to the basements of Kent, Kent a large number of rats, which could be caught and eaten. Yum. Hopefully that doesn't kill us. Because eating rats... Not a smart idea. God, dude, this is gonna be a lot more difficult to spread a family. And plus, my wife is pregnant right now, isn't she? Yeah, my wife is pregnant at the moment. She's gonna need to eat. Good lord. Sorry this is a little bit of a lengthy episode. It's just, it's so jam-packed right now with this freaking camp fever that we might die. Has anybody died from this yet? A sudden glider sends you running to check your food supply. Norman, we cannot eat shit. Okay? Stop eating food. I don't know how much food we have left. Okay, let's calm the fuck down. I'm not gonna open my gates yet, and it's it's literally still spreading. We're gonna have to open the gates soon enough to eat. But we're under an epidemic. Why should I be proud of myself? We have another daughter, which we'll name Mary, just with a Y. Mary Games. I like Eleanor, though. That's a great name. It's a good name. Oh my god, it's spreading throughout all England. Good lord. Turston, that was the second time you're getting locked in the dungeon for eating. Sorry, bud, but you ate for too long. You've been chomping on food. Oh, we're, we're... I'll just say, why would you do this? Are, are we literally going to eat all of our food supplies? Because we only had like five. We're gonna have to open the gate. How many people have died to this? Like, the king and them, of course, haven't died. Because they're all secluded and they have food for fucking days. If it leaves us alone, then we'll be alright. It's kind of starting to spread into the consumption and destroying consumption with camp fever. You already ate- Get thrown in the dungeon, dude. Stop eating so much. Holy god. <laughs> This is gonna be so, what is this? Slow fever. Ooh, that sounds terrifying. Any others in the world? Of course, we got smallpox that's about to, looks like it's about to leave. Camp fever is basically the big, oh my god, it's spreading like wildfire. Your food exhausts are exhausted. Trivial minor foods will be removed. Kent. It's starving. We have to open the gates up. We're literally going to die. Guys. We're opening the gates. Go get food. Don't die of camp fever. 
Shar. I'm actually going to save myself by going to Wildmeister. Hopefully, that means I'm not going to die. Oh my god. This is so intense. This is crazy. I've never played a Crusader Kings 2 game this much to the point where I literally have to worry about my survival. Oh my god. You have gained some... From the weight you've lost and finally no longer feeling hungry all the time. Awesome! Does that mean we're all good now? Yeah, that does. But none of us are... It looks like none of us have camp fever yet. She has diarrhea. She might have actually caught it. Abdominal pain. Fuck. Please tell me you didn't get camp fever. None of my kids have it, do they? I mean, if you didn't get it... Oh, she's quick. Of course, Eleanor. I should have known you'd be quick. Darling. I don't have it, do I? No. I'm leading troops at the moment. Is that the smartest idea? Now the camp fever spreading around the world. Yep, there she goes. She has it. I'll find a good camp physician for you, honey. Oh my god, and measles just broke out too. Holy lord. Of a mystic? Sure, you seem terrifying, but if you can save my wife, then that'd be great. I don't want to have to marry again. I don't have it, and I think it's because I'm actually in Lancaster, Northampton, and all them leading troops. None of my kiddos have it, not at the moment. Oh, one of them do. Fuck, my kids are going to die. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> are you serious? Oh my god! My kids are gonna die! No, my wife! <laughs> god! Oh, but he did save my kid, which is good. Okay, so I have to remarry? Ooh! Can I marry into her? Yeah, I can! He'll let me marry. Okay, that actually, okay. I'm going to say that that wasn't the worst decision in the world that my wife died. She was producing some good kiddos, but I got a new wife. A new beautiful wife. She's 17. Well, I say beautiful. She doesn't really look like it. But she's 17. Maybe we should pop out a kid or two. and Maybe we'll fucking finally get a son. But now I'm like, yeah, you know, you're my father-in-law. Maybe I don't hate you as much. That's where we're going to end. Because we're going to end on an epidemic. Literally. There's quite a good possibility that the next episode, we may all die. And, um... I could lock my gates once more. But for right now, I'm I'm kind of in a safe position. Because I haven't, ca I haven't gotten camp fever yet. Or anything like that. Of course, the king is out doing his own shit. And of course, my kids are back home. So we do need to lock it up soon. So, put down in the comments below, soon enough, if we can shut the gates. We technically can't shut the gates because I don't have... Um, one of the following must be true. I can technically, I don't know why I can't shut it right now. Maybe it's because I'm leading troops at the moment, so maybe that's why I can't technically shut the gates. So, let me know in the comments below what we should do. Because... One wrong move, and this campaign could possibly be over. Which is terrifying. Measles is spreading up north now. Camp Fever got us, basically. Hopefully it's not going to be around for a while. Uh, of course, this is what it looks like in the normal world. But we're probably you're probably going to be seeing a lot of this view. So that way we can see when it's starting to not become a really big problem. In the other parts of the world, there is no... Other ones, besides, of course, here with measles, we have consumption, and when then we have the big one, which is camp fever. And then over here, we have slow fever as well. But camp fever is the big one that's spreading like fucking wildfire. So we just got to hope that we're not going to die by this. Uh, Cecilia technically has come into my court, but she's still locked away in her court with her dad. 
so that's good. My wife isn't going to die, at least what I don't believe she's not going to die. I need to figure out as soon as possible, can I lock my gates? But that's going to do it for me. Of course, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it down below. Comment, of course, what do we need to do to survive? Comment also some kid names. That would be awesome. Comment some kid names down below. That'd be really cool. And then, of course, if you haven't subscribed to see more, because, of course, we're going to be doing more and it's going to be really fun. Um, but I have to go and write a paper. So this is probably going to be the only episode you're going to see for the day. But, of course... I'm trying to push out a video every day for you. So until then, everybody, Glenn Games signing off as always. Take care.